On this episode of Rich House Customs, we're making a mad, rad, hectic as garden edging body kit for only $10 from your local hardware store. So let's get into it. First off, I do want to say sorry about the rain. Today is a very rainy, overcast day, and as you can probably hear, you can hear the rain. So I do apologize for that. Now, the idea behind this is to save a lot of money, right? You can buy body kits for mad little JDM nuggets that cost like $300, $400. And quite frankly, I don't have $300, $400 to spend on a car that cost me $300. So a great option to make your car look pretty fat and make it a little bit more wide and look very juicy JDM spec is to go to your local hardware, spend $30 for 10 meters. We definitely won't need 10 meters. We'll probably only use maybe like five meters, so that equates around $10 from your local hardware store. You can pick up a big mad uh, roll of garden edging, and this one's 100 mil wide, so it'll give us 100 mils of mad flexness. Um, for the sides, we might use these little brackets that are like 30 cents, 40 cents each, and then just need a rivet gun because we're going to rivet them on, which is a lot cleaner than tech screwing because the tech screws come out and they're always crap. Um, just going to need a drill and some drill bits to drill the holes for the rivets. So let's get straight into this and make this mad little Metro 121 nugget look like a mad dog. So let's get into it. So what we're going to do is we're going to run one along the front lip down there. That'll pop it down 100 mils. And then we'll use the brackets on the sides, on both sides. And I might do something at the back. But I'm not sure yet, but I'm doing a custom exhaust, so that'll be fine. I'm going to do the exhaust tomorrow. So, we're going to pop this bad boy up on the hoist and get straight into it. It should only take like an hour, so it's going to look fresh as fresh food people from Woolies. Now that we've got the Mazda up, we are going to start the lip and wrap it around, put one rivet in at this corner, so then we can bring it around like so, and then put a rivet in, and then rivet from one side to the other so it's nice and flat. So, it's going to be hard for me to film this, but I'll set up my tripod and try and get the best videos for you. So we've just test fitted it up and I've just got to go get some longer rivets because it's got to go through basically two layers of this which is pretty thick and too thick for my rivets. So I'm just going to duck over, get some longer rivets and then we can smash this mad hectic lip on it. It looks pretty fat so I'll be back. So back with my new rivets so let's pop this front lip on. Now using this garden edging tape which is pretty easily found in any hardware store around Australia or anywhere in the world wherever you are. Now this stuff is actually a really good product if you want to make your car look hectic and mad as this stuff is actually UV rated and really strong and tough. It's a couple mil thick and this stuff won't fade in the sunlight if you park your car out in the sun every day. Because this stuff is meant to live outdoors and it is meant to be in your garden stopping your grass from growing in your garden. So this stuff is actually good stuff if you get the right length rivets with the tail when it folds up. Make sure it doesn't pull through your bumper. But other than that, this stuff is a great product to make your car nice and juicy and fat like mine.
So once you've riveted your mad hectic wobbly thing because it's cold and it hasn't expanded yet, because once it gets out in the heat it'll form up nicely, but now you got that, you just want to cut that with your scissors to follow your art. So we'll just cut that and make that nice and neat like that. So we're going to do that on both sides and then I think instead of doing the sides we'll um, cut them out, cut that one out, paint that black, paint this black and it'll look a thousand times better. So let's trim those ends off and then drop it down so we can do some painting. But I'm not sure how good painting will be in this weather, but let's get it. Now that we have our front lip spoiler, whatever you want to call it, we are going to cut these things out for mad hectic, I don't even know what for, just to make it look sick. And then we're going to paint that front thing. So I'm going to chop these things out and it's going to look oh, so much better. that out and show you. So that's the end result that got them cut out. Makes it look so much better. So now, I think we might, I'm not sure if I should leave them on or not, but definitely gonna take that top grill off and paint it. So I'm gonna drop it down and do that painting. Looks so rad. Down there. Get the dogs. have it so just three screws to get that out and we'll paint that. So let's go get a lick of paint on this bad boy. It actually looks sick without a grill but we need a grill so let's paint it. So that's drying, so we're just going to go back to the Mazda and see what else we can paint or make sick or maybe put some flares on it. Let me know if I should put these flares on because I don't know but I think that's going to look hectic. This, this could be very dangerous this video, oh god, oh, this is going to look so sick. Also yeah, obviously got it right button. So. While that grill is drying, I'm going to show you my TIG welder that I bought. So I bought a TIG welder so it can weld stainless, um, just mild steel, and all your other non-ferrous materials, So except aluminium. So I think I'm going to use it to make the exhaust for it either today or tomorrow. Um, it'll be in a different video because I'm trying to make one video for each modification I do to the mad shit box. So I'm going to... Go and show you my $200 TIG welder. I'll, I might make a video reviewing it once I learn how to TIG, but um, it should be good enough just to pick up and learn how to TIG and make the exhaust either today or tomorrow. Today's just crap weather, so it's kind of sucking for everything because everything is soaking wet, but I'll show you the TIG. There's the gas bottle, and here's the TIG welder. It's a bubby little thing, look at that, it's tiny. But, the cool thing is, it does have high frequency start, so like, you don't have to scratch start everything when you try and do that, and it's nice and compact. The gas bottle is way bigger than the actual thing, but this thing works like a treat. Um, I haven't really used it yet, but I just did a little tack onto the earth bank, and it looks amazing. 200 bucks. What a weapon. Straight off eBay. There's some other tools that I bought today, but yes, this TIG welder is an absolute rig. So the mad grill's ready to put back in, and we'll try not to scratch the brand new paint, because that would suck a lot. Ah. 
That looks so much better. Probably can't even tell in the video, but let me just drop this on it real quick. Ooh. That looks so much better already, holy. Um, what else can I do? It really needs tint badly, because it just looks so bad without tint. You can just see right through it. But I think that'll wrap up the video. I've tried um, buying a spoiler, but they seem really hard to get. But honestly, I think that front end just looks so much nicer now. Look at that. It's awesome. Hell yeah, brother. That's sick. You ready for it? Oh, that looks so much better. Probably can't even see it because there's barely any lighting, but that looks sick. I like it. It's a little bit better. Looks a bit nicer. And I kind of like the look of the finished rivets, unpainted. Hell yeah, dude, that looks sick. Well guys, that'll wrap up today's video on putting the Mad front lip on the Mazda. I reckon it looks way better than before. So next up, I'm gonna start doing the exhaust on this thing and make the custom exhaust. And I might do a twin, like two pipes coming out of the back, which will look hectic. So, so if you like this video, make sure to turn the bell icon on, like and subscribe. And leave a comment below if you have any suggestions for Mad Mods for, for the Mazda. We'll see you on the next video.